I'll just work with whatever realtor finds me a house. Now, I hear this line all the time, but is it really in your best interest? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. My name's Andrew Stevens, and I'm a realtor here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and my team sold 118 homes in 2021. Now, before I get any further, if you like this content and you wanna see more, please like this video and click the subscribe button as I post two videos a week about the Halifax real estate market and buyer and seller tips. Also, if you wanna book an appointment with me anytime, you can do so with my calendar link below to book a call or a consultation with me at a time when it's convenient for you. So if you're seriously looking for a home in Halifax, Nova Scotia right now, you really should be working with a buyer's agent. This market is extremely tough and although it's been a little slower the last two or three weeks, you're still going to face multiple offers on almost every single house that you're putting an offer in on. So here's five reasons why you should be working with a buyer's agent. So number one, representation. Most listings are on the MLS and most of these MLS listings have their own agent representing them and their best interest. So if they have a professional representing them, you should have one representing you as well because those listing agents have only one person in mind in that transaction. And guess what? It's not you as an unrepresented buyer. So if you have a buyer's agent, they are legally obligated as per your contract to look out for your best interests and all their loyalties lie with you. Reason number two, blind bidding. So. This market is extremely difficult to track, even as a full-time agent, it's constantly changing. It's your buyer's agent's job to make sure that your offer is competitive, but not grossly overpaying for a home. And if you do grossly overpay for a home, you might be in a world of hurt if you go to sell in a few years from now if your situation changes. Number three, convenience, trust, and relationships. So these all go hand in hand, but if you have a buyer's agent, you have one single contact, and you get all your information from them, you book all your showings through them, and you really build a relationship with them, and you build trust more importantly. They advise you, they look out for your best interests, and they literally do everything under the sun that is legal to get you the best possible property at the best possible price for the best possible terms. So it's really a win-win. Number four, it's free. Well, almost, but not every single time. If you're looking at MLS listings, almost every single one of them are going to be paying the buyer's agent at, from the seller out of the proceeds of the sale. Now, there are a few instances where this doesn't apply, but there's so few and far between that I'm not even going to talk about them here. If you are looking at MLS listings with your realtor, make sure you talk to them about those scenarios, but generally speaking, the seller pays the buyer's agent out of the proceeds of the sale, so it's free. And number five, loyalty. So it's your buyer's agents and your best interest to find you a house. Now, if you're invested in your buyer's agent, they will in turn be invested in you. So they're on a contract to help you find a house and they will scour the ends of the earth to find you a house, whether it's off market, MLS, or through their industry connections and their office. So if they find you an off market deal, that's really a gold mine in this scenario with this market that we're in right now, because you might not have to compete in a multiple offer situation for. I hope you found this video helpful and for the love of God, if you're a buyer out there in Halifax right now contacting listing agents to view a property, please call me or call another agent. It doesn't matter if it's me, but call an agent and discuss with them how they could help. And by the way, if you think there's a deal to be had by going through the listing agent, those days are long gone if they ever really existed at all. If you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week with the Halifax real estate market and buyer and seller tips. And thanks for watching. And until next time, have a great day.